please welcome Craig Pallas. Oh, oh, from the Guardian. Yeah. Craig Pallas from the Guardian. Oh, this guy's a legend. This guy's a legend. He's yeah. Big up, big up. Joe Pallas from the Guardian, UK. Okay, chant it with me now. Hey, hey. Did you see Galloway, man? He was a fucking professional. <laughs> Dissing the fuck out of him, man. This guy writes for the Guardian. I wish yeah, Galloway could great. perform. Wrong war. Wrong war. You know? Wrong time. Come on, man. You need someone to sling up to the front with you as a small, man. I gotta yeah. ride next to this shit. Um, well, you right, insurgency in New Orleans. As Bush said, a rising tide raises all yachts. So, now think about it. I know some of you think that Bush and Cheney goofed up in New Orleans. But yeah, think about it. Halle Burton, oil services, platforms and pipes, emergency services, reconstruction, and a city that's the blackest, most democratic city in the United States has now been run through the wash and has come out whiter than white. They had hit the trifecta. Okay? Let's be honest. Dick Cheney's the only man in the United States who'd rather have a hurricane than a blowjob. Now, dig this. Now, I want to bring your mind back to March 17, 2003, when our president announced we were going into Iraq. He said, Saddam, out, or we're coming in to get you. And he said, I want to speak to the Iraqi people. Remember that? Before he went in? Now, of course, Cheney didn't tell him that they speak Arabic, but that's okay. Now, he said, now he didn't say, our president, before we went into Iraq, he didn't say, hey, our kids are coming in to liberate you, don't shoot at them, don't shoot at Casey Sheehan. Instead, he told the Iraqi people, do not destroy oil wells. I don't make this stuff up, okay? And Operation Iraqi Liberation is what they called it at first, O-I-L. So I want to leave you with this. And we're going to have the celebration party for uh, John Kerry. He did win the election, you know. Um, it's going to be a few years late, don't worry. Um, but I want to leave you with this thought. And by the way, well, one thought. Tomorrow you're going to be there at the Green Fest, okay? And Green Fest, up. I want to leave you with this one thought from our president. That he told the Iraqi people, one thing I do agree with. Our president said, do not die for a dying regime. It is not worth your life. Thank you.